you know, when people say, sometimes, you know, the haters will say like, well, you never fought. Like you don't belong in there. Well, I'm pretty sure John Anik didn't fight either. I love John Anik, but John Anik didn't fight either. I'm like, <laughs> well, how about we go back to the old days? Like did Howard Cosell fight? No. Did he and Ali have the greatest interviews ever? Yes. Right. And so like my role is a conversation facilitator. Um, I don't necessarily have to be a person that gets punched in the face. The flip side of that though, Jimmy is when somebody like our dear friend Bisping, who I adore, I love Michael so much and I love working with him. But that time that he said, shut up and just read the teleprompter has haunted me forever. And it will never go away because at least every week somebody says something to me. Now, here's the thing. At the time at Fox, we did have a prompter, but I also helped write the script you know, with RJ. and Which and she does, that. yes. At the time we weren't even on the project, but we don't even have one. Since we switched to ESPN, we don't have one. I write my own scripts. When we're doing post shows, there isn't a script. It's literally off the top of my head. And for some reason, people cannot believe that I am able to do that. And it's incredible, right? And so Michael, with his huge platform, and he's a star and he's amazing. So that one little thing that he said is on a platform so much bigger than mine yeah. and people love him. So they will repeat whatever the count says because he's hilarious because he is hilarious. And so that though, that funny little aside actually does haunt me and, and causes problems. And it's like, well, it was funny, but it wasn't true, but it was funny. And I can definitely take a joke, but that kind of messed me up. Like it, it, yeah. It's a joke that a lot of people believe. And until they come in and their Kiesa sitting there at the desk, then they don't know it isn't true. You know what yeah. I mean? And you're like, I wish you didn't think that was true because it's not, you yeah. know? So I don't know what my point is on that. It's just that it's it's frustrating to, to still be, to, to reach a certain um, position of authority, you think, but for it to be undercut that easily because you're a girl still. Problem. You have to have your chin tucked in. Sure. Whether it's your style or not. If you're going to fight professionally, you got to tuck your chin. Here's what I'm going to say. Simple. It was certainly no, more of... No, it's not open for debate. Uh -oh. The chin has to be tucked. Ask any striking if... coach. Karen, you're very good at reading the teleprompter. We are the fighters, okay? <laughs> oh, the chin has God. to be tucked. Everybody at home. Or... Or... Now. The or... chin has to be tucked in. No, no, let's get do this. The or... Move off the desk. I believe somebody's mic is about cane. to get cut.